Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, after over a year, it is finally time to return to our Warrior Cats legacy. But not just yet. As you guys can probably imagine, it is going to require a lot of work behind the scenes to end up creating the new chapter, the new generations, and the many, many, many new episodes of our Warrior Cats Sims 3 adventures. And I'm going to need your guys' help in getting ready. Uh, there's a lot of plot writing and plot planning going on behind the scenes. Our patrons over on our Patreon Discord are actually really helping us to be able to start pulling things together. I cannot thank them enough. I will talk more about that in just a minute, but I need some of your guys' help with creating new cats who will show up in the course of our series. So if you want to know all of the details over how you could submit a new cat to become one of of the many cats that will roam through all of the clans, the wandering groups, the strays, some of the cats that you might find in homes with two legs in the big city, who you might find roaming around the dump or in the forest. There is a lot of plot lines that I just mentioned that I think you guys are going to love in the future. Then all you have to do is look down in the comment section and the first pinned comment will be my comment explaining the guidelines for how you can submit one of these cats. Make sure that you follow those guidelines because if you don't, I will not be able to use your cat. And just remember, just because your cat may be selected in the future by a random generator, by the way, for all of the YouTube comments that you guys submit, we will be using a random generator to pick from those cats to create more cats in the future. Uh, the patrons over on our Patreon Discord will all have their cats made. I am so excited. I will explain why and how they have just been an endless fount of support in just a moment. But basically, all you guys have to do is read those guidelines, leave your comment by filling out the template and the details of what you would love for your original cat to be in our world, and then sit back and cross your fingers and hope that the random generator thinks that it is your lucky day and picks you for next time. For now, we have three beautiful cats that we are going to begin creating and adding into our world from our patrons, and I know I've mentioned them a lot more than I usually do today, and that is because they're amazing. <laughs> that is because I, for those of you who have been around for our Sims 3 Warrior Cats adventures in the past and you know all of the drama that happened with the fandom back then, oh my, I was a much younger Siri and a much younger YouTuber back then, so it was a lot harder to handle then you know that it almost destroyed the series. The aggression in the comment section, the way people were attacking each other, the way people were attacking me, the way people were blowing things so out of proportion for a series that they loved, really made it so that I almost swore off any of our future feline adventures. And it is truly because of the people who gathered in the Patreon, a lot of older members who really loved these stories as well, and their patience as over the months they have helped me to feel calmer and safer with being able to step back in to such a very, very, very um, enthusiastic fandom. It's truly thanks to them that we are here and getting ready for this again. So I just wanted to say that up here to remind you guys as we step into our Warrior Cats world, as we start adding in your cats, as we start seeing more things, please be kind. Be kind to each other. Please be kind to me. You are welcome to enjoy the story or not enjoy a certain story or character or plotline, but remember that these are all just stories. Stories for us to have a good time together. Stories for us to enjoy. And I hope I see a lot of responsibility, uh, a lot of responsible behavior, a lot of uh, kindness to each other, agreeing to disagree if you do disagree with each other in our community so that moving forward, we will not ever again be taken off course of all of these beautiful tales because of fandom drama. And that's why today I'm going to start adding by adding in three of our Patreon cats because truly, for more than a year now behind the scenes, the very kind people there have slowly and surely reminded me what it feels like to be inspired, what it feels like to be just full of passion for telling a story, and for just how much joy Warrior Cats can bring to us. So with all of that said, some very important ground rules I hope all of you will help us to enforce in the comments moving forward as we 
begin this step again. I'm going to try so hard not to be nervous about it. We're gonna start by adding in cinder flower from the Wisty Fish. So let's get going. There we go. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my gosh. Wistie Fish, thank you so much for submitting Cinder Pelt to us. She is so beautiful. I hope I did her justice. I think I need to like add a couple more little spots on her, like a nice strong line down her back. And I can tell that because Wistie Fish actually was able to submit a picture on our Patreon Discord of her beautiful cat. So many of our patrons actually have OC character warrior cats. They have stunning artwork that has been done or drawn by hand to represent those OCs. So hopefully we'll be able to see many of them come to life in our Sims 3 warrior cat world. And actually it's going to bug me. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add in, I need one more strong line down her back. And then I will have pretty much managed, I believe, to, uh, to Let's see, let's stretch it like this, and then there we go. I think we're gonna actually have that stretch maybe all the way, ooh, there, that's more like it. Maybe all the way kind of across her stomach. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I can change the shape of it a little. Okay, and then we'll shrink it way down. 
Whoa, okay, maybe I'll pull it in like this. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kinda, I think I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. There we go. Maybe have it change colors somewhat. I don't think it needs to be that big. But all right, as you can tell, I can get lost in the details of trying to perfect the cats, but I hope that she is very close to what you dreamed of. Let's give her a bit of a fluffier tail even. Uh, we might give her some fluffosity. We need to add some fur onto this kitty. There we go. Oh, that makes me happy. Let's ooh, let's make her really fluffy. That's charming. Oh my gosh, I love that. But yes, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching as Cinder Flower has been made. And Cinder Slender, oh my gosh, Cinder Flower. So Cinder Flower is a young cat and she has beautiful long hair. She's spunky, short-tempered, willing to fight anyone, but doesn't hold grudges and would be willing and would be back to being friends as soon as the fighting is over. She is feisty but nice and very overprotective of queens and kits, and she loves pranks, which I think just sounds like the most adorable cat ever. So we're gonna go ahead and add traits that represent that. So I'm gonna make her kind of aggressive because she's like willing to, oh my gosh. She is willing to fight anyone. And then we're going to make her spunky. What do you guys think? I, maybe hyper would be kind of ooh, very playful. I think playful would be perfect uh, because she loves those pranks. And it sounds like she is definitely not quiet. She's probably kind of noisy if she's pretty spunky and she's short tempered and willing to fight anyone. I think that she's probably pretty vo noisy and really likes to be able to have her voice be heard. So she's going to be a really fun addition and we'll give her a little bit of a high pitched voice there. She's going to be a really, really fun addition to our our wonderful warrior cat world. I'm going to add her little bio that Wistie Fish made and then we're going to add in loves pranks, which is so cute. But all right, so how will she be added into our world? Well, she's going to be a non-playable character. You guys can find all of the details down in the video description below. Uh, not the video description, excuse me, in the comments. She'll be a non-playable character, but she will be officially added into my roster of wanderers. So wanderers are the ones who actually are from clans. They're familiar with cat clan life, but they're not currently in a clan. They're kind of wandering between them, searching for a new home. I will have her on a big list. I will have her personality written down. And then if she seems to fit into a storyline, she might be added in as a background or main character, or the random generators or the game itself may make her appear in our stories as we are telling them. Any of you familiar with our Sims 3 Warrior Cat stories know that I can only predict a small amount of what happens. Everything else is outside of my hands and that is why it's so much fun. But all right, so thank you Wistie Fish. I am so excited to have Cinder Pelt and I actually do have that picture. So let me know what you guys think uh, and how I did. I think I did pretty good at like recreating her. It's kind of tricky when you have the teeny tiny little details. I could probably add in a spot or two here or there. So I might tweak her a little bit more, but I can't help myself guys. I'm actually really wondering what her kits would look like. <gasps> It'd be so exciting to have her in a clan so that we could see how beautiful her kits could possibly be. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and let Cinderpelt get a little bit of a rest. And we are gonna introduce a new cat into our little collection. And this is another one of the cats that our fantastic patrons have actually submitted. I know I'm talking so much about them today. I should talk about them all the time because they are so much support and so amazing. But it's truly because without them, we wouldn't have warrior cats. And we have a huge warrior cats and wolf quest and star stable group in our Patreon. It's so much fun. And don't even get me started on the nicheling lovers. It's just the best place and has really helped me to feel ready to tackle these stories again. Again. So now we are going to add in Shauna's cat, Mint Leaf. So let me go ahead and get her ready to show you guys.
there are some cats where you really have to go back and forth, back and forth. I'm still learning the controls once more to our Sims world, my friends. So if it takes me a minute to kind of get used to the cats, I hope that you guys can have my back and submit more cats so that I can practice and practice and get better and better with time. But thank you so much to Shauna from our Patreon Discord for submitting your beautiful mint leaf. She was a lot trickier to make and I couldn't quite get like some of the adorable little beauty marks that she had under her eye. Hopefully I'll be able to get some of those in the future. And I actually cannot get the coloration on the chest very easily on these cats. So I'm gonna have to think about, uh, you know, how to tweak that a little bit in the future. But here is another wonderful picture of Shauna's beautiful original character, Mintley. Yeah, a little bit harder for me to make, mostly because getting anything on the chest of the cats is very, very tricky. And as time goes on, I will probably tweak her just a little bit to try to match the beautiful dappled patterning of this white ginger and gray calico with orange eyes. Ooh, I missed out on the eyes being orange. I'm so glad I reread that. Let's go ahead and tweak her eyes really quickly totally missed that they were supposed to be orange because I was going off of the picture before I looked at the appearance description because I was being a goose. Let's see, eye color. Let's do these beautiful orange eyes. Oh, that's so lovely. I might go back in and try to kind of match the oranges that we gave her to some of the, oh, that's so, it makes all of her colors pop. Oh my gosh. I'll try to match that up a little bit more later. It was so tricky to get the little line down her nose, but she is a very serious and well-spoken cat who has a blind loyalty to the warrior code and those with authority over her. She doesn't let herself get too close to the other cats as she has had her trust broken by many of her past friends and family. Mint Leaf is quite serious, but has made some questionable choices in the name of the warrior code, but she genuinely, genuinely believes that everything she does and has done is for the good of her clan. And she is very tall and muscular, which is a unique trait of hers. So very tall and muscular. So she sounds like someone who blindly follows the code and we'll give her a little bit of a low voice, uh, but, and has maybe made some dubious choices in the name of the code. So she would definitely be a great character to really uphold the warrior cat code. Uh, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? I really think that depends on the context. So with that known, I think she is definitely quite proud, which in my mind also means that you're very loyal as a cat. Loyal doesn't exist as a cat, unfortunately. Uh, and I do think that that would mean that she is also, what other traits would really match her quite well? I don't think shy or skittish or piggy. I think she's non-destructive in her own way because she wants everything to follow the neat and tiny manner of following the warrior cat code. Oh, actually, I think she's independent the best. There we go. Because she has had her trust broken in the past. But all right, my little one, I will try to make you even more of a fancy calico in a bit. I really, I might darken her colors here and there. It's really a lot trickier to make these cats in the Sims 3 than I remember, but I know with practice we will get up and at it and we will really be able to create more of them. So since I talked so much about some of the new rules that I hope we can guide our wonderful community by, I'm only going to make these two cats today, but I hope you guys will submit lots of cats, one per comment, and be patient with me as we continue to make a lot of these behind the pause videos, getting the sets, getting the characters, and getting our cats ready for what will hopefully be just story after story after story. I am, I'm really hoping we'll look back a few years from now and see generations of our warrior cats having been born. And it's time for me to finally admit that for that to happen, I need your guys' support. Again, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot stop thanking the patrons because without them, I would have given up a long time ago from just how out of hand our community, well, the warrior cats community in general and any fandom, can get when things get heated. 
I hope you guys can take the contrast, the years of the cats that we have lost as a word of warning in your own lives for how chaotic things can sometimes get in a fandom and how important it is for all of us to show up and do our best to try to help manage it. So I hope you guys will really set good examples in whatever group you're interested in, whatever hobbies you're interested in. And I really hope you guys can give me and each other your support as we try to resume these stories and do all of the work that it takes to get there and try to support each other just with this excitement. This is a great and wonderful opportunity and I can't wait to bring more to all of you. So we'll have a lot of these creating your cat videos start coming out very soon. I need a lot of characters to help me out with the drama happening in Petal Clan and some of the other events that we will be seeing. And I just cannot wait to bring these stories to you guys. If you could, do please leave a like to help support the return of our Warrior Cats Sims 3 legacies. Subscribe if you want to catch those and literally thousands more adventures. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, be kind, and follow your heart. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!